Jonathan here with the Hotspot, and we are at the 75th annual Iroquois Steeplechase. We are on the track right now looking for beautiful hats and uh, hopefully a great race. Heather Vincent here at Iroquois Steeplechase. And Heather, you are with Bank of America, correct? That is correct. And and what do you, how does Bank of America play a part in Steeplechase? So for the past 26 years, Bank of America has been the presenting sponsor of the Iroquois Steeplechase. And we just love this event and its specialness to the city of Nashville and the fact that it raises money for the Monroe Carroll Junior Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt. I yeah. see you have a wonderful hat. Thank you. That's it's, great. Uh, sometimes um, you always have to have a hat when you come out to Steeplechase. You must have a hat, yes. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Maggie Sternberg. Alicia Boswell. Okay, so I call these hats, but I'm incorrect, right? W what do you call these? They're actually headbands, and they have little fascinators. So it's really actually a headband, but yeah, it's just lips on by a band. But, but right you here. would call them fasc fascinators. Fascinators, like if you think of um, Kate Winslet, all the royal, you know, royalty in London, they wear fascinators. Albert Menifee, and Albert, what's your position here, sir? I am president of the Volunteer State Horseman Foundation, and I'm the grounds and facilities coordinator. I, I'm in charge of uh, putting it on. Great, and uh, can we talk a little bit about the Chilton Cup that's going to happen here today? The Chilton Cup is a challenge between the, the Iroquois steeplechase and the Cheltenham races. And the uh, uh, if a horse wins both races in a certain period of time, that would be if someone had won Cheltenham and came here and won, they would get an additional $500,000. Now. If someone wins at the Iroquois and then goes to Cheltenham, they can win that 500000 And the combined purses of the Iroquois, Cheltenham, it's one of the races at Cheltenham, and the bonus is a million dollars. The Iroquois Steeplechase Trophy was purchased by Mason Hoagland, who was the founder of this race, from Cheltenham. And that trophy is right here, right there. This is the original trophy that was for the first Iroquois Steeplechase, and I believe it went for the second or third or maybe the fourth, and it was retired, and now it's been given back. It's Lowry Watkins Jr. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, uh, what your position is here and what you've brought? I brought the cup that my father re retired in 1946 after winning the Iroquois three times, 1941, 1942, and 1946. Uh, his horse Rockmain won the first two races and Tourist List the third race. And he uh, also won at Green Pastures in 1941 in April, uh, which this cup originally was there. And then May 1941, the uh, Iroquois. My father's fourth and final win in 1949, uh, he got this plaque uh, mounted on a wood background. It's, so this is the next permanent trophy, the P. Laurelard, because he took the original one home. So they had to go get another one, and it's this one today the P. Laurelard Trophy. How anticipated is the race today? Very. This is an international race. It is uh, world class. Uh, the Iroquois track, the quality of the turf is arguably the best in the nation. Comparative to the other uh, steeplechases out there, uh, what do you think about Nashville and what we've done here? This is the biggest and most famous one. The oh. Iroquois is the largest in the Midwest and maybe the United States. Uh, this is a, a very important race. Well, we had a great time here at the 75th annual running of the Iroquois Steeplechase. It was beautiful women, great hats, and uh, amazing horses.